When we partition numbers, there's different ways we could do it. And we're going to look at really big numbers now. In this example, 512,458. I've decided to break it up by each of the digits. Now my first digit is 5. And I know that's 5 in the 100,000s place. So that's 500,000. But what if you didn't know which place it was in? Well, what you can do is start at the smallest place, the 8. That's our ones or our units. And then you can work up and actually work out which column you're in. So if we work through this number, we have 8 in the units, 5 in the tens, 4 in the hundreds, 2 in the thousands place, 1 in the tens of thousands place, and 5 in the hundreds of thousands place. So always use that if you're not sure which place you're in. So we've got 500,000 plus 1 of the ten thousands, which is 10,000, plus 2,000, plus 400, plus 5 tens, or 50, plus 8 units, or 8. So breaking it up by each digit gives me six pieces for this number because there are six digits in the number. And now I could work on each separate part if I wanted to. I can also partition a number in bigger chunks. This time I'm going to break up 802,426 into just two chunks. Now another thing, when you say the number out loud, or imagine saying it in your head, that also helps you think about the value of the first digit. So with my 8, by saying 802,426, I can work out that my 8 represents 800,000 in that place. So I'm going to start with that and break that into 800,000 plus the leftover, which is 0, 02, 426. So there's nothing in the tens of thousands, but there is a 2 in the thousands. It's 2,426. So that's another way of partitioning a number. Now let's use that particular example to solve a problem. I've got the same number and I want to know how we can halve this number or take half of it. Well, remember how we partitioned it? into 800,000 plus 2,426. I'm going to take half of each part and then add the pieces together at the end. So first I'll take half of 800,000 and then I'll add on half of 2,426. Now the little finger's pointing at the zero and that zero has an important job here. That zero tells me that the 2 is in the thousands position. Without it, our number would be 82,426. So that 0 is the placeholder for the tens of thousands column. Now, let's work out each part. Well, half of 800,000. That's 8 hundred thousands. Half of 8 is 4. So half of 800,000 is 400,000. Now, half of 2,426, each of those digits are even, so we could actually take half of them starting at the 2 and working our way through the number. But that becomes a problem if we've got odd numbers, so we're going to actually break it down a little here. We're going to think of half of 2, remembering the 2 is in the thousands place, and that's 1,000. The 4 is in the hundreds place, so half of 400 is 200. The 2 is 2 tens, so half of 2 tens is 1 ten, or 10. And the 6 is in our units place, so half of 6 units is 3 units, or 3. So you could do that in your head, but by visualising each digit, you can actually start to think about halving that number. So now we're going to add those parts together. We've got 400,000, plus no 10,000s, remember, but we've got 1,213. So we have 400,000 plus 1,213, which is 401,213. And once again, you'll see our zero is really important. 
because there are no tens of thousands, but we must put our zero there, or we would end up with 41,213, which can't be right because we've definitely got 400,000.